pissing you off yet, Brian? Nah, it's nah, it's when I when I know you're going to, it's a different thing. No, no, the airplanes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not talking about this. It's starting to get aggravating, yes. Right? But um, but hey, but we're right here next to the airport. Anyways, right? Update for the day. Um, today is I don't even know what the fucking day it is. Right? Let's see. I know it's May the second or, or June the second. Right? Um. We've been here now. I think it's Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. We've been now here for like over a week right, in Santa Clara County. And it's we're starting, like I've said this before in the previous video, we're starting to catch the flow of it here. Right? But because we're because we're low on fundage and because we're low on food and we've only found a couple of sources, regular sources of food, right? And, and the security people are starting to cruise us now. In fact, one lady, just one security lady, super security lady, this morning, right, followed she, she, seen us sit over over by one of the dumpsters where we've been getting a Chinese food and she actually followed us right all the way across the parking lot to Starbucks where we were sitting down to eat the food that we salvaged right took a picture of the Starbucks took a picture of us I mean like what the fuck we're just scavenging food out of the dumpster it's not like we're robbing the damn Chase Bank anyway you know what it is maybe She's hoping that we'll get busted for something and then she can get on the news and be like, I stopped them bums from eating Chinese food that day. If it wasn't for me, they would have successfully robbed this place over here. That's far-fetched, but yeah, okay. And anything's possible in the realm of infinite possibilities. Yeah, and Anything uh, is possible here yeah, in yes. the town anyway, of surveillance. But, but the point of it is this, is that we, we, we're not doing anything wrong other than scavenging for food in, in a place where we know there's going to be food to scavenge. And on top of it, we're the only ones doing it because every time we go there, the bags that, that, that we pull out of the dumpster to rip open the scavenge of food, we, we're doing exactly that. We're the first ones ripping them open. We're not making a mess. We're not leaving a mess. We're throwing everything back into the dumpster when we're done. When the dude comes to dump more, we get out of his way. We don't make him. He's. They don't say anything to us. Not twice now. Two different people. There was a young female and an older Chinese man came. Two different times. You know what I'm saying? Right to dump trash in the dumpster while we were there. They they didn't say anything to us. But that doesn't mean that they didn't tell their boss and their boss didn't call super security lady. They probably put, didn't though. Who, who who put the surveillance on us this morning? The only thing we've gotten is a couple stink eyes by people that that don't want to give us money but don't want to see us doing they don't it. Don't want to see us doing it. Yeah, I feel bad because we have to. But, but anyway. the thing is here. They keep their mouth shut. Be that as it may, right? Because of that, right? We haven't been able. As you can tell, we haven't been able to explore the city at large very far because because we have to we have to concentrate on finding sources of food to keep ourselves nutritionally alive. Right, because because we have no other source of anything, right? I mean, this 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 is one of those things that is is the intangible that I was talking about the other day in the three things, the three hardest things, right? This is that intangible that's in, that that you can't calculate. You don't know what you're going to find when you come to a new city, right? So you have to be, you know, you have to be a, number one. You have to be a little bit wary of what the other bums are looking at you for, and number two, you have to be conscious of what the security minded people are thinking about when they see you digging in a dumpster or rooting around in a trash can, right? Because you don't know what they're thinking, you don't know what the overall vibe of the city is until you catch the flow of it. Now, we've talked to a few people, we've talked to a few regular people, we've talked to a few bums, we've talked to a few drug addicts, right? I mean, they're, they're start, the bums are starting to accept us because now they're writing up to us and asking us for directions. They're asking us if we know this guy or that guy. Do we know this couple? Do we know those people? We don't know any of these people because we don't associate with these. We don't, we don't run around with them. We don't, we're not trying to hang out with them, right? But they've seen us enough times where they're starting to accept us being in their little part of the hood, right? Now... Slowly, we're starting to branch out and we're starting to explore. Like, like earlier today, we, went, we rode you know, a couple of miles over this way and that way. We followed the directions on the Maps.me app. And we ended up at a Whole Foods store over there on the other side. Because you know, here in a couple of days, we're going to get some, some money or some, uh, my food stamps are going to come on for the last month. And, and we were, 
we're considering, you know, Sam buying some fucking supplies and some other stuff and maybe move on and go back to San Francisco and busy with Dan or, or, or somebody else. We don't know yet what we're gonna do, but we wanna we want to kind of like comparative shop a little bit to see where we can find the best deals and the kind of food that we wanna stock up on because we're, we're, we are primarily, my anonymous friend is basically a vegan. Me, I'm mostly a vegetarian, but I, but today, this morning, I had, you know, I had an epiphany, right? Because I haven't smoked a cigarette in three days, right? I had an epiphany, and, and my body is starting to go, is starting to, to push out all of the nicotine and the bad stuff from not smoking, right? And, and, and I don't want to eat meat anymore, so I'm probably basically going to be a vegan before it's all over with. So we want a, we want a comparative shop where we can find food at a relatively cheap price, that we can buy, that we can exist on, and right, combine that with a couple of the food sources that we're finding that we know are gonna be at least comparatively vegan, right? You know what I'm so that we can get ready and we can train ourselves again for the you know for the next part of the journey. We don't know if we're gonna stay here, we don't know if we're gonna go. We don't know if we're gonna stay, we're gonna to go, we're gonna go, we're gonna stay, we don't know what we're gonna do yet. All we know is, is that we're grinding out videos, we're pumping them out, we're doing the best that we can. We we are actually doing the things that we've done all along, right? It's just that Right? Because we're stuck in this little tiny small box of this city, and, and it's really crazy, Sam. I mean, we're right in the heart of Silicon Valley, but yet the internet sucks everywhere, except for a few places. You know no, it's just in the south part where all the gangsters are. They right. got slow internet. Right, you know what I'm saying? But, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're like in this, you know, four or five mile square little area where the Guadalupe River Path is. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. If any of you, you know what I'm saying, want to help us, if any of you have any ideas for us, if any of you got any video ideas that you want to see us make or talk about. Or, or if you have an idea of how to take a bottom bra a Shimano bottom bracket out without the tool. Yeah, there you go, because, because you know, Anonymous Friends bike is just about ready to explode. It really, truly is. If any of you have an old bike that's within the vicinity of us riding to you that you don't want anymore, that you want to donate to the cause, Please, by all means, delete, delete, send me an email, Brian Noel 49 at Gmail. Yeah, Dude. anywhere in the Bay Area, we can get to pretty easily. But, you know, fairly quickly, you know what I'm saying, within at least a day, without Anonymous Friends' bike exploding on the way. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because look, the airplanes are really starting to get annoying. This is me, Brian, and my Anonymous Friend. Thank you.